Oh, hi, I'm Rusty. This is BigTeachingWorld.com. Today we're going to make paper from recycling it. We're not going to recycle it in a bin. We're going to recycle it all by ourselves. First we need four to five sheets of any kind of paper, like I got them right here. Okay, what else we need is a glass bowl. I got that one right here. And we need hot water. That's right here. That's the, our hot water. And we need the cornstarch. This is what cornstarch is. And here's what else we need. Measuring spoons. Aluminum foil. Wooden spoon. Scissors. Sharp pencil. Let's see. Decorations. Well, you don't really need decorations. You make some specks on your paper or lines on your papers. You use decorations, but to make it plain white. You don't need decorations. Check with a grown-up before you begin recycling paper. Recycling paper is good for the environment. It cuts down the amount of garbage you throw away, and it means fewer trees have to be chopped down to make new paper. Start by cutting the newspaper into small pieces. About four or five sheets of newspaper will be enough to make two small pieces of recycled paper. Put the newspaper scraps into a bowl. Cover them with hot water and mix it up until all of the paper is wet. All of it. With your wooden spoon. Make sure your paper is all soaked with hot water. And after that, you wait for three hours. Make it sit for three hours. And then we can start with our other steps. Welcome back. We let our paper sit for four hours, but you can do it three or more. That's how you have to do it. Three more. Okay. Add a few tablespoons of cornstarch and a little more hot water. And then mix it all up once more. So here, I'll be getting some more cornstarch. Here's one tablespoon. Putting it in. Two tablespoons. Putting it in. After we do that, we add hot, a little more hot water. And then we mix it up a bit more. Now you have a pulpy, watery mess. Pulp is what you need to make paper, but you need to get rid of extra water first. You can make a strainer to help you do that. Take a piece of aluminum foil and fold it into a square or rectangle about the size of the paper you want to make. Punch holes in the aluminum foil with a sharp pencil. Welcome back! Now it's time to make the paper. Take a new sheet of aluminum foil and put it on top of the extra newspapers. We are just using cardboard though. Then spoon some pulp on top when the aluminum foil is covered with a layer of pulp. Use your strainer to press out the extra water. Pulp that left behind will become your new sheet of paper. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Might be a little messy, but I can do it. So, now after you get all the aluminum foil, you put your sheet with the hose on it. I'm using a cardboard to put on top of it and to press with. Water is going everywhere. Might need to press harder. Pulp is really thick. Who knew? Probably not. It's thick. Put aluminum foil 
and books on top of your paper and press it flat. Then take off books and the top layer of foil and leave it out overnight so that it can dry. So I left it two nights, but you can just leave it one night. It's pretty dry and it's easy to rip. See it? Okay, when it's done, peel the paper from the aluminum foil. You can leave the edges rough or trim to look like the card you buy in the store. There you have it. Recycled paper. Soap. Here's our paper. It's very <laughs> light. Bye. See you folks on making something else. BigTitsandRiddle.com is what this website's all about. Hmm?